What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. ASMR sip of some vitamin aid. Today is a BS Cloud Grab. All right, everyone loves these well. I don't like them, but my analytics like them. So be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and click the bell. You may get ghost unsubscribed. So you constantly got to search this channel. Just FYI. It seems like it's been getting better as far as the comments go, as my hardcore subscribers are now getting notifications. So we'll see how that goes today. I'm going to be reacting a little bit to Vigorous Steve's video with Wesley Vissers. Wesley Vissers is one of the, you know, up and coming prodigies, you know, compared to Arnold has the, you know, the radio talk show host voice you know he's talked so fucking smooth you know he could be a voice actor and his physique's insane i'll have andrew throw up pictures of him super aesthetic very tall bodybuilder and has a ton of tissue i'm going to be reacting to vigorous steve's interview because i found you know the entire interview very informative i think you should go check out vigorous steve and check out wesley both stand up awesome dudes you know, I think Steve is the goat, the underground goat that is in the spotlight and I'm super happy for him. But yeah, I recently posted a video discussing basically like you shouldn't try and maintain your blasted look. You should, you know, creep along and get to a look that you can maintain on a cruise dose that you're happy with. Change your set point muscle. I discussed in one of my previous topic videos that Andrew put together. This video is just kind of concretely cementing my thought process with how Wesley has perceived some of his regrets early in his bodybuilding career. So Wesley was never, you know, in the dark about being enhanced. And when we look at Wesley's pop off and come up right, has the charisma, has the smooth voice and has the crazy classic physique to match. And when you look at his training style, it's very Arnold-esque and super high volume. And yeah, I watched Wesley vintage genetics on his come up the entire time, thought he was a stand up guy. And I always wondered a little bit more about, you know, the enhancement with Wesley. I'm not saying he should be as open and honest as me, but it always intrigued me because when you look at his transformation, I'll have Andrew pull it up, it's very, very vicious right out of the gates. And when you see him approach, you know, competing as a pro and everything, I'm not gonna say he lost steam. I'm just gonna say he didn't maintain the most rapid progress for whatever that may be. But Steve and Wesley are going back and forth in this video and I'll have Andrew threw up the clip where Wesley basically discusses he started out on medium dosages. So the biggest problem and the one mistake that I made because I was under the guidance of someone at the very beginning who was pretty extreme himself. So even his lower doses were medium doses to begin with, which medium to me and is still a little too high because when I see now with even people genetically not gifted, making quite some progress on the minimal dose. I mean, I'm like, oh, I could have started way lower and maybe wrote out a lower amount of milligrams for a longer period of time. So yeah, Wesley admitted he started out on medium dosages. And I think one of his regrets is he wished he creeped along ever so, you know, he creeped along on the lowest dose possible, maxed out the tissue associated that he could hold lean body mass wise with that dose and then creeped forward ever so slowly in linear progression. I think he could have maximized more gains out of that method rather than what most people do, which is they hear, you know, someone in their ear, hey, you need this dosage to get this big. Just go to the real dosages, real bodybuilding dosages, Wesley. You're a real bodybuilder. You gotta take the real dosages. And obviously, younger Wesley thought that. You know, that's the common practice. You gotta use the bodybuilding dosages. Screw the biohacking people who are like, you wanna creep along ever so slowly with linear progress. You wanna take as little steps back as possible. Wesley's obviously about the real old school bodybuilding. He's gonna go with the real old school dosages. And in this podcast, you know, he alludes not as a regret but as something he would change if he could do it again in my opinion you know you hear him in this video like oh you know i started out with medium dosages which basically means he didn't like creep on the gear right he went on the gear real hardcore right out of the gates but i don't think he obviously pushed it to mass monster dosages but he was doing you know significant cycles and obviously his results match the significant cycles i think in wesley's mind hey if i started out on minuscule cycles and 
maybe I didn't get the, you know, the pop in the industry from the extreme transformation and come up at that age. I didn't get the pop, you know, of, you know, exploding into the industry with this crazy Arnold S physique. What if I creeped forward on tiny dosages, maxed out the amount of lean body mass I could hold on that dosage and creeped forward? I think Wesley's mind, would I have had more longevity? Would I have built a more impressive enhanced physique maybe one or two years down the line more than I got to quickly, but I had more room on the table as my career heated up as far as competing to expand the dosages to create a better look physique moving forward. Did Wesley blow his load too early or do you think I'm talking out of my ass and that's a load of bullshit and Wesley would have been where he would have been no matter if he started out of the gates creeping linearly or he started out of the gates as I quote him medium dosages meaning he just jumped into the real dosages he skipped over the minuscule dosages he skipped over the little blast he just went right into real old school hardcore bodybuilding dosages that I'm sure a guru high up told him to do right out the gates at that age do you think that capped him too early blew his load too early early do you think he would have benefited from again this is one of his prognosis is not mine you know creeping linearly out the gates maybe not getting the pop of the industry of having this crazy physique right off the bat and maybe you know blooming later in his career but having more on the table to expand into the dosages. You know, you see him going back and forth with Steve for this inclination of Steve's opinion, and Steve is always of less is more, like most biohackers from a longevity standpoint. Less is more, use the least amount to creep forward, and you creep it up. Real bodybuilding coach guru is more gonna be along the lines of, this is the dosages you need to win, this is the dosages other people use to win, why don't we come out the gates on the right dosages and not waste too much time because, hey, everyone's competing against father time. You only have so much time. You're young in the game. This is a game measured in dog years, enhanced bodybuilding, and you really only have so much time. Why are we fucking around with the baby dosages when we should just get right to, you know, the bread and butter of doing the big bodybuilding cycles, which Wesley did at a younger age. I think Wesley wanted to creep forward a little bit and then ramp it up as he got more competitive actually you know on stage now the thing with Wesley is he's a very tall bodybuilder in the classic you know division and that puts a lot of pressure on him to hold a lot of lean tissue so I don't really discredit him for doing the hardcore dosages he has the genes the insertions the voice the charisma it's all there the popularity right off the bat blasting really isn't something personally from my angle that I'm like, oh, that guy shouldn't have really blasted. Like, it makes sense to me. I'm just pointing out something he brought up himself in this interview. That kind of goes with the biohackers. That kind of goes with my opinion, right? I'm not no genetic freak like Wesley. I don't got, you know, this crazy frame like Wesley. I'm more thinking of enhancement from a longevity standpoint while still getting to a crazy enhanced physique by 30. Wesley was more like trying to be a competitive pro in his early 20s. So two completely different goals, but... I think it's funny that, you know, Wesley, who, again, when you look at Wesley, hardcore old school bodybuilding physique, very enhanced, very impressive, and you have him wishing that he built it slower, built it more linearly, so he had more room on his plate later down his career. So my question to you guys, do you think Wesley blew his load too early, or do you think Wesley did the right thing, got to the crazy physique in a good amount of time with the medium doses and did the right thing as far as cementing himself as a competitor right out the gates or do you think he would have benefited from creating because he still would have got there the dude trains like crazy eats perfect etc etc do you think he should have linearly crept up to that physique let me know in the comment section down below i will see you guys in my next video